Hey guys, welcome to your 30 minute strength class. My name is Brittany. I'm a certified fitness professional with Corporate Fitness Works, and today we're going to be mostly focusing on upper body. So let's go ahead and get started with a warm up, and I'll let you guys know what we're doing today. So just starting with arm circles to the back, warming up those arms, maybe starting it out with smaller circles and working your way up to bigger circles, and then reverse that direction, bringing it forward just a few times right here. Good, shake it out. Getting into those shoulders. Good work. We are gonna take it down from the crown of your head through your shoulders, round it out one vertebra at a time just to reach for your toes. Warm up your spine a little bit here. You can bend into those knees and straighten just a couple times to get that back warm, getting a stretch in those hamstrings, and then walking it out into your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet here, sitting into your heels, widening the distance between your fingertips and pressing your chest back toward your thighs to get into those shoulders. From here, roll forward onto your toes, finding a high plank here. Good work, holding it strong, and then slowly pressing it back through the heels. Again, come forward, find your plank, holding strong, pushing out of those shoulders, so you're really trying to push those shoulder blades away from each other here, and then taking a roll back. One more time, bring it forward, this time hold it here. You can stay here or drop to your knees at any point today. Always feel free to take that option. We're gonna bring it to shoulder taps, opposite hands to shoulder. Good work. Try to keep that core as stable as you can, so maybe you widen the distance between those feet to keep your hips from rocking back and forth. You have four, three, last two, and one. Bring those knees down if they aren't already there. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Find a neutral spine. We're gonna inhale to drop your belly to the mat, lift your base, and exhale, round everything under chin to chest. Again, inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl it under, round it up. Find that neutral spine again. Raise your right arm to the sky. Look up at your hand, circle out your wrist, and thread it under, shoulder and cheek to the mat. Good work. Warming up the back of that shoulder here. This is a movement we're going to be taking today with a weight. Lift back up and take the other side. Lift it up, look at your hand, circle your wrist, and thread it under. Nice work. Stretching out here just for a second, then lifting it back up. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, walk your hands back toward those toes. Hanging here just for a second, slowly rolling it up one vertebra at a time. And we are gonna take it just for a little bit of a leg warm up since we are going to be using them to stabilize today. So take it into a squat, feet about shoulder width apart, toes point forward, chest up for five, four, three, two, and one, feet together, we're taking it back for a lunge and reverse, good. Taking it to each side, warming up your legs and your core, taking running man arms with this, so opposite arm and leg, four more, three, two, and one. Good work, shake everything out. We are gonna be going through nine exercises today for three rounds. Each round gets shorter than the last. So our first one is a minute of work, 30 seconds of rest. Then we go down to 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and then 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. I recommend having a mat underneath you or just a soft surface to work with since we are going to be on our knees for a little bit and two sets of weights. If you don't have any weights at all, that's fine. You can do this with body weight or just one set of weights is fine. Just remember, you can always drop them at any point. I have two sets to give myself options. I have tens and fives. So take what you need today and remember we're working mostly upper body. So I'm gonna get our timer started for our first minute of work and it's going to be 30 seconds of rest. Let's get back in that downward facing dog position 
in three, two, one, we have pike push-ups. So these are like a little declined push-up, keeping your hips in the air, core strong, really working, working on strengthening the chest. So your arms are a bit wider than shoulder width apart. Your core is strong. And we're keeping those hips in the air the whole time. So in a regular push-up, this would not be good to keep your hips in the air, but we are trying to do this here to add that decline motion on your chest. Working those arms a little bit more here for 15 more seconds. We have 30 seconds to rest. Good work, breathe through it. Rest is coming up in four, three, two, one. Take a breather. Nice work, you guys. Shake it out. That was our first minute of work. Our next one, we have lat pulls. So you can choose your lighter, your heavier weights. I'm going to go with my heavier weights to start today. And we are going to start in a lunge. So I want this to be whatever side you want to go for. We're going to stay there this time. On our next exercise, you're going to take the other side. So just remember what side you started with. Bring those arms overhead and pull down elbows towards your rib cage. Good work. So a big lat pull here. We're focusing more on the pull down rather than the shoulder press overhead. So really slow down that pull. Bring your elbows into your sides. Good work. Lots of upper body strengthening today. Not as much cardio. So you can breathe a little here. Good work. Try not to creep those shoulders up to your ears. Keep them down. Shoulder blades down your spine. 20 seconds to go. Nice work. More focus on that pull rather than the push. Good. Breathing through it for 10 more seconds. Good, again, remember which side you are lunging on. We'll rest and then take the other side lunge in three, two, one, rest. Good work. So our next one, always feel free to drop the weights in between, shake it out. Our next one is that lunge again on the other side, but this time we're adding a bicep curl. Just a regular bicep curl so your palms are facing out, and then we're bringing them down from your thighs up to your shoulders. Get ready with whatever weights you want to do for that, or no weight at all. Five seconds till we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice work, you guys. Exhale on the lift up, inhale on the lower. Slowing down this motion, trying to focus on your form. So elbows into your sides, shoulders down away from your ears. You are 20 seconds in, we have 40 to go. Remember this first round is our longest one, so we won't have quite as long work or rest on the next couple sets. Good job. 20 seconds to go, you're 40 in. Good, stay with it, stabilizing nice and strong through that lunge. Engage through your core, belly button to spine, 10 seconds to go. Good work, all the way down, all the way up. Stay with me for four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, you guys, shake it out. Up next, we have a modified lateral shoulder raise to a front raise. So I recommend lighter weights on this one. I'm grabbing my five pounds. If you want to do no weights at all, that's fine too. We're just standing, feet about hip or shoulder width apart. Elbows bent at a 90 degree angle to start. We lift those elbows up to the sides, then lower, and take a full front raise to the front. So straighten out those arms on the front raise. Go ahead and go. Starting with that modified lateral raise and full front raise. Nice work. Your minute is going here, breathing with it. Try to focus on not leaning back with that front raise so your core is staying nice and strong. 
to keep you upright. Nice work, 30 seconds to go. Turning to my side so you can see that lateral raise, 90 degree angles in those elbows. Nice job. You have 15 seconds to go. Stay strong. Squeezing those shoulders at the top. You've got it. Squeeze, lower, and lift, lower. Good, keep breathing. You have three, two, one. Nice work. Go right to the end of that time. Good work, you guys. Shake it out, set down the weights. Next up, we have a sumo squat reverse fly. So grab onto the heavier weights if you can. Up to you if you always want to switch to the lighter or no weight at all is always an option. So feet are out to the sides here. We're starting with a little hinge of your hips, but your back is still flat. Engage your core. Palms face towards each other, tiny bend in your elbows, and lift out for your reverse fly. Good work. 10 pounds may have been ambitious for a full minute of reverse flies. I might switch to my lighter weights. Good, but I want you to just stay in your sumo squat. So your toes are still turned out, hips are nice and low, core is very strong here. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top of this motion and then slowly lower back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Good, nice control in both directions. So we're controlling on the way up as well as the way down. We're not just letting those weights fall. Nice job. You're under 15. Breathing through it, guys. Eight seconds. Shorter rounds after this, I promise. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work, shake it out. <clears throat> Next up, we have a hammer curl shoulder press. So I want your legs to still be engaged, but we're not going into a full squat on this one. We're just going to have little bends at your knees to keep your core strong and chest upright. So here we have a hammer curl, shoulder press, palms facing in, grab your light or heavy weights, or again, no weight at all. Three, two, one. One minute is starting now. Good job. Keeping that core strong, chest upright, palms into your sides. Good, palms are facing in, elbows are tucked in on that hammer curl. So we're just moving your forearm on the hammer curl, then pushing directly over the shoulders on that press. Good work. Exhale on the push up, inhale on the lower down. Good, breathing through it, you are 20 seconds away. Good work, you guys. We just have three more exercises after this, and then we start going down in time. Stay strong. Just that tiny bend in your knees, weight in your heels here. Engage your core, five seconds. Three, two, give me one more, best one, and then rest, nice work. All right, next up, our next two exercises are actually the same exercise. We're just taking it on one side and then the other side. So I want you to come down to a quadruped position and grab your lighter weight if you have one at all. We're gonna bring that weight into your right hand. Find that neutral spine like we did at the beginning of our warm up with our cat cow, belly button spine, flat back, lift open with your right arm and then thread it under, keep that arm off the ground. Your minute is starting here. So it's a big lift and then a lower. It's like that lateral lift we did, but this time that arm is fully extended. We have a tiny bend in the elbow still to protect that arm from hyperextending at the elbow. And we're squeezing that shoulder blade at the top of this motion. Good, make sure we're finding that neutral spine with your back at the top. And then breathing into that oblique as you thread it under. Good, maybe squeezing that chest a little to bring that arm underneath your other arm. And you are already eight seconds away. 
Good, breathe with it, you're almost there. Final three, two, one, and rest. Lift it up, shake it out. All we're doing is switching sides here. So go ahead and circle out that one shoulder. We're moving on to the left side. And then we have one final exercise before we move on to our lower amounts of work and rest intervals. So find that all fours position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, belly button to your spine, nice engaged core, flat back. We go in three, two, one. Lateral lift and thread it under. Lift up and thread. Good, so notice we still have that tiny bend in your elbow. It's not that full modified shoulder raise. So we're not at 90 degrees here, but we're still keeping a tiny bend just to protect that elbow. Good work. Can you squeeze your shoulder blade a little bit more at the top and bring that shoulder in towards your midline? Good, then engage your oblique on that thread under. Use your core to keep that arm slightly lifted at a hover above the ground. Good, exhale as you thread under, inhale as you lift. You're under 10 seconds, finish strong. Good work, you're done in four, three, two, one. Nice job, you guys. Final exercise of our longest round of the day. We are gonna find a plank, and I'm gonna give you a couple options if you would like to be on your knees. So our full option here is a plank jack with an oblique twist to each side. So it's a jack, twist, twist, opposite knee to elbow. Otherwise, if you are on your knees, you can step it up and still take that twist. Coming to that lowered hip position in the center. Let's go. One minute is starting here. Plank jack and twist, twist. You can always take that stepping option at the top here too if you're on your toes and you wanna step it out from side to side and then twist, that's always an option. Good work. Taking that deep twist on each side. Try to bring that opposite knee to the outside of that tricep. Good work. Breathe through it. You are 20 seconds away from rest. Our next couple rounds are gonna feel very short compared to this, I promise. Good work, always feeling free to take that Modified option on your knees. Three, two, one. Woo, rest. Nice work, you guys. 30 seconds to rest. We are gonna start back over, and this time we are decreasing in our time. So we have a 40 second work interval, 20 seconds of rest. So grab water, towel off. We are gonna start again with those pike push-ups in 20 seconds. All right, get ready, you guys. Take it to that downward facing dog position. 40 seconds goes in three, two, one. Pike push up. Good. So that wide arm position again. Adding that decline motion to your push up to work a little bit more into that chest and those lats, the sides of your back. Good work, you are already more than halfway there. I told you this one was gonna feel a lot shorter. All right, get ready to stand it up. We rest for 20 in five. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work, stand it up. We have lunge lap pulls coming up next. Heavy or light weights, up to you. It's 40 seconds only and 20 seconds to rest. Keep that in mind, less than last time. So try to keep that weight the same or maybe even increase. Let's go, find your lunge, just hold it there and pull down using those lat muscles. Elbows into the sides of your body, right into that rib cage. Slow it down, 
on that lower. Controlled press up, focusing more on the pull rather than the push. Nice job. 15 seconds to go, that's it. We have our bicep curl coming up in 10. Good job. Rest is coming up so soon. You have five more. Give me one more, best rep. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job, you guys. Set those weights down for 20 seconds. Shake it out. We have bicep curls. Remember which side you just lunged on? Other side forward this time. Get ready, palms face forward in three, two, one. Find your lunge and lift. Nice work, elbows into your sides and you're controlling that way up as well as all the way down. Straighten out those arms at the bottom. We're not doing half bicep curls, that doesn't count. Good job. All the way up to the shoulders, down to the hips. You're 20 seconds away from rest. Good work, more than halfway through. 